Our Vince Slomsky continues to look into this issue and whether or not the department is overstepping its boundaries. Vince? Well, Amanda, over the past couple of days when we've been doing these stories, we've gotten quite a response from the viewers out there. A lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, a lot of messages on Twitter even, and uh, a lot of concerns, a lot of questions being asked. Some of those questions deal with whether or not giving police take-home cars actually deters crime and who's benefiting the most. Well, here's some answers to those questions. The purpose of a police take-home car is simple. Get the officers who drive them home to the scene of a crime quickly. There are studies that show it, it's the quicker, you know, the better in most situations. So that's, I think, you know, the benefit to the community of having these. We can get people to the scenes as quickly as possible. Leaders in the city of Erie say having these cars parked at the officers' homes even comes with an added bonus. They do deter crime just by their mere presence out there. The criminals do not know if that car is just parked there. That police officer is in the house eating dinner with his family, or that police car is parked there because the police have a presence in the neighborhood, it's going to deter crime each and every time. The only problem is whose crime are Erie police officers deterring? Out of the 46 police take home cars, only 13 of those officers who drive them live within the city. The rest are in surrounding towns such as Mill Creek. Fairview, Northeast, and so on. As long as they live within 15 miles of City Hall, they can continue to take their cars home. It's a statistic that does not sit well with Erie City Councilwoman Jessica Haran Kunso. How do we afford that? It's good to deter crime in general in all our community here in Erie County, but we really can't do it on the backs of the city taxpayers. Mm -hmm. Mill Creek has no police take home cars, so it's safe to say Erie's Crime Stoppers are welcome anytime. Um, yes, there may be some benefit involved, and, and I suppose we appreciate that. So are Erie taxpayers funding crime prevention elsewhere? Chief Franklin insists that's not how it works. We're not funding them to do that. We're funding them to fight crime within the city of Erie. But if it so happens that the side benefit of that is that we catch a criminal who may be responsible for crimes in both jurisdictions, then that's in our favor. Haran Kunso says in the midst of a 14% tax increase, the entire policy needs reviewed. It's nice that we have this opportunity for, for police officers to take vehicles home, but is it necessary and can we afford it? That's the question, and it's not being asked, and that's what we need to do in lieu of raising taxes is look at what, what we're doing right now and what we can truly afford to be doing. Jessica Haran Kunso tells me she's willing to sit down with the mayor and the police chief, her and the rest of council, to discuss maybe some changes to this policy. We asked Mayor Joe Sinnott today if he's planning any changes, and he said no. Hey, Vince, uh, is there a, any policy on where they can drive the cars? Well, every officer is given a guideline of how they should handle police vehicles. There is no policy, however, at least that I was given, uh, that specifies where officers with take-home cars can drive. So whether that's a second job or to go get some groceries or anything like that, that's not clearly defined. But Chief Franklin does tell me they monitor all the mileage on these vehicles to make sure that the privilege is not being abused. Amanda yeah. and Kevin? Yeah, that just makes sense. Vince Lomsky, good job on this, Vince. We appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks. much. It is, this is not over. I bet you there will be some uh, city council probably looking.